Hey everybody. So today we're going to take a deep dive into OpenAI Agents SDK. Uh, this is the documentation link. I'll uh, put it on the, our project here on cursor. But we're going to go over it one by one. I think there is, this is very useful, very easy, uh, because it's made up of very small set of primitives. So there is abstractions on top of the API calls, which we are familiar with. but uh, when AI agents SDK is a evolution of the swarms uh, SDK, which we saw a few months back, is really uh, marvelous, and I like it a lot. And without further ado, let's quickly dive in. Uh, there's also a associated GitHub, and there are quite a lot of examples. Uh, maybe we won't look at the examples in this video, but maybe in another video. Let's see how it goes. So essentially, OpenAI Agents SDK enables you to build uh, agentic AI apps in a lightweight, easy-to-use package with very few abstractions. It's production-ready upgrade of, our, of the previous Swarm experiment. The primitives are just agents, handoffs, uh, and guardrails, if you wanted to use them. So handoffs have been directly built in. Previously, you had to build a function to hand off from one agent to another. For example, if you had a triage agent, which passes the customer to, let's say, technical support, you had to define that agent and actually have a tool or a function to do that. Now, handoffs are, handoffs are actually built in. There's also a built-in tracing, which you can keep track of in OpenAI's dashboard. Let me try to find it real quick so we can take a look. So you can set up tracing. Uh, I don't have any right now. Uh, I guess uh, I do have. Uh, and you can see here, uh, if you set it up properly, like the types of things that have happened in your agentic workflow. So that's pretty important. So why use Agents SDK uh, has two driving principles. Enough features to be worth using, but enough primitives to make it quick to learn. That is very true. Works great out of the box. You can customize it. The main features are agent loop, built-in agent loop that handles calling functions, sending uh, results to LLM, looping until LLM is done. Uh, Python first, uh, orchestration of uh, and chaining agents rather than needing to learn new abstraction handoffs. This is a powerful feature. It is actually to coordinate and delegate between multiple agents. And this is just built in. That's the beauty of it. Guardrails allow type safety in a way, input validation checks in parallel. Uh, and uh, almost performing like a moderation uh, for for your age agentic system. For example, if if it's a tutoring agent, you can make sure that the user input is actually math. Like let's say you have a math tutor, you build a math tutoring agent system. You can put a guardrail that only math related inputs actually pass; otherwise, they fail. In a way, that's the guardrail. You know, a way of guarding yourself against prompt injections and things like that. Function tools to turn any function into a tool with automatic schema generation and Pydantic powered validation. Also, the new tools in OpenAI's uh, new newly released web search file search and computer use are built in, so you can use it uh, here with Ag Ag Agents SDK as well. And we talked about uh, tracing. You do have to install it. I just did that today. Just run the pip install OpenAI agents. And here's a quick hello world example. You just import an agent and a runner. You can define agents as simple as giving it the name, instructions, and then runner.run uh, just runs that agent because that's the agent that is defined with some sort of uh, prompt or input. And you get your result. So we'll we'll explore this uh, in more in detail. Of course, your, your API key needs to be set up. If you set your API key in your environment variables, like I do, then you don't have to do anything. It's automatically detected. So quick start. Let's see. Uh, there's a question. Let me see. Uh, would this work with something like Crew AI, or would this eliminate the need for a framework like that? In my opinion, this would eliminate the need. But uh, so this is a full framework where you can actually build all sorts of stuff. But this is a, a like this provides you with the building blocks. 
I haven't used Crew AI in a while. If Crew AI has specific like agentic systems that is already built in, uh, like for convenience sake, you would have to replicate them in Agents SDK. Other than that, they should do everything that Crew AI uh, does, in my in my opinion, for the most part. Uh, yeah. So quick start. You know, you may want to use a, you know virtual environment. I use Conda environments, but that's up to you. You have to install it, create your first agent. Uh, you just import agent and then give it a name and some instructions like the system message. You can add more agents here. In this case, this is a math tutor, for example. Uh, you can add a history tutor. Uh, and you can give it a handoff description. So additional agents can be defined in the same way. Handoff descriptions provide additional context for determining handoff routing. So. There is the instructions, which is like a system message for each agent. And then there's also a handoff description, um, it, which will be used uh, to determine for another agent to transfer uh, to and from. So once you define your handoffs on each agent, you can define an inventory of outgoing handoff options that the agent can choose from to decide how to make progress on their tasks. So here's a triage agent, which is kind of like a routing agent. Uh, its instructions are used to determine which agent to use based on the user's homework question. And handoffs are uh, is a list of both both agents, the history tutor agent and math tutor agent. So triage agent will have access to this handoff description and then will determine based on the input. Uh, so let's check that the workflow runs and the triage agents correct the routes between the two specialist agents. And then there's the guardrail example, but we can actually copy this part instead of copying everything one by one uh, and bring it here. And maybe here make a um, one basic agents.py file. And maybe with just control K, maybe let's say implement this. Let's see how we'll do. Oh, we have 3.5s on it, but that should be fine. All right. So we have the history uh, tutor agent, math tutor agent, triage agent, and our main function is going to run it. So we have the agent and the runner. After you define your agents, you run it with the runner uh, method, runner uh, runner's run method. Uh, and we, as you can see, we run runner.run, we run the triage agent with this uh, prompt or input, what is the capital of France? Uh, and when we run this, let's see what happens. Running our agent orchestration, the capital of France is Paris, is not only the largest city. So uh, essentially, the, the triage agent actually handed it off to the history agent. We didn't actually see uh, it happening. Maybe print uh, when a handoff happens. Let's see if we can capture it. I don't think we can without a handoff result that handoff agent. Uh, it's guessing, of course, uh, 3.5 doesn't know, but it's 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 guessing that it, it may have a handoff agent. Let's see if this actually works. So, so this is totally 3.5 sonnet guessing uh, the the method. Yeah, has no attribute, but we can actually click on results. Uh, let's put a breakpoint here. So let's dive a little deep. Uh, we can actually undo that. And we can put a breakpoint here and run this by, with the Python debugger F5 to just to see what the result contains. We could have also printed the whole thing, but. So the result is currently just defined, but if I just step over one time, uh, now result includes all this. Uh, final output, see, last agent history tutor. 
was selected as last agent. So results is an object with uh, all this in it, like the final output, input, last agent, new items, and of call items, see? I, be I believe this is when it was transferred. Yeah, so uh, it's nice. It deals with objects, and there's quite a lot of information there. Let's take a look what else. And this is the raw response. But you get the final output. So uh, let's move on from this. So uh, you can add guardrails. Guardrails are defined as pydantic objects, uh, such as structured output. Uh, you define, for example, homework output uh, with a pydantic base model. Uh, you, which will be, is if it's a homework, this will return true or false and some reasoning about it. And now you uh, create a guardrail agent with the output type uh, homework output. And then uh, this part gets a little bit complicated, but uh, you say homework guardrail, and you, when you're running the runner.run, you pass in the guardrail agent, input data, and some context. I'm not sure where this context is coming from. Uh, and then the result final output is uh, homework output uh, essentially re will return uh, if if whether the user's query is uh, homework related or not. Uh, meaning this guardrail will only trigger true if homework related questions are being inserted. That's the whole idea about this. Putting it all together, let's put it all together, run the workflow using handoffs and input guardrail. Uh, let's actually, we can copy this and maybe make a new file because uh, basic agents with guardrail apply. Yeah, so you determine which agent to use. Who was the first president of the United States? Uh, let's see what happens when we run this. Oh, it says guardrail, input guardrail, trigger tripwire. Hmm, we actually got an error. Okay, let's not get bogged down by guardrails because those are only those are only necessary in certain circumstances. And just move on. Just know that they are there. This was the uh, quick start anyway, and now we can view our traces. I don't know if we will be able to view it now. Let's go to our traces uh, here. Let's see what happened. So, uh, triage agent created. Homework guardrail, these are created. Happened, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000X cursor course. And that's great. You know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked. I'm, I'm telling you. 1000X, uh, your coding. 